Two children and their mother are missing in Montgomery County, and police need your help finding them. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Gina Barti. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us. Well, one day after a Chevrolet woman was charged with killing her two young children, police in Montgomery County are asking for the public's help in locating a missing Clarksburg woman and her two children. Police say two-year-old Jacob Hoggle was last seen by relatives Sunday afternoon. His three-year-old sister, Sarah, was last seen Monday night. And investigators say the mother, 27-year-old Catherine Hoggle, who suffers from schizophrenia, was last seen by the children's father last night. Now, police say the mother told relatives where she left the children, but those stories turned out to be false. I'm hopeful we'll locate them somewhere. I'm, I'm hopeful they're with uh, somebody that don't even, doesn't even know they're reported missing yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but this facts and circumstance, circumstances of this case um, lead me to be concerned for their welfare as well. Um, I, I have to be realistic about it. So we're tracking down all leads and all possibilities at this time, and we remain hopeful we'll bring them home safely. Now, police say the mother was last seen driving a gray 2007 Nissan Rogue like this one. Here again are the missing persons. If you know their whereabouts, call 911. Well, yesterday we learned that Sonia Spoon, the mother of accused suffocating her two children, had a history of depression. Authorities say Spoon was taken in for mental evaluation before she committed the crime, but was left back into her home one week later. Today, CTV spoke with a psychology professor from Prince George's Community College about the serious issue of depression. Diane Finley has, has this advice for parents who struggle with this illness. But if you feel yourself getting to the point where you think you're going to hit them or do something that we know is really not what you should do as a parent, um, if there's nobody that can relieve you, at least just put them in a safe room, shut the door and walk out of the room. So most of the time, mental illness does not mean that you don't know right from wrong. It just means there may be some disruption in some of your thought process or your fu daily functioning. Finley also says parents who need help can call the county's 24-7 mental health helpline at 211. After a video was released of Ray Rice punching his girlfriend unconscious, the Baltimore Ravens running back has been suspended indefinitely from the NFL and has now lost his endorsement with Nike. Now, when the original video came out in February, a lot of people said that his punishment was light, but that star still deserved a second chance. Now that, has, now that all the footage is out, the athletic director of one local college is speaking out about the issue. Joanne Todaro is one of the few women in the nation to head a collegiate sports department. I think that the NFL had an obligation to do everything possible to speak against domestic violence and if suspending him indefinitely was what they chose to do then I obviously support that. Oh, that is awesome. Now, how long have you been an athletic director for PG uh, College? I've been the athletic director here for 10 years. And in your 10 years have you seen anything else like this happen as far as with the sports world? Do you know, someone asked me that last night, and the last incident like this, I would guess, would be um, O.J. Simpson would be the last thing. I think that was longer than 10 years ago. Now, Rice has also been released from the Madden NFL 15 video game. Well, a few weeks ago, we brought you the story of a local program that helps domestic violence victims on the verge of shutting down. Well, today we're happy to report the House of Help, City of Hope at Kingdom, Kingdom Village has raised enough money to stay open. The Suitland program needed an additional $15,000 in the span of one week. Owner Shirley Holloway attributes the building staying open to God and the help of the community. Helping people is what we do. It just makes it easier when you're not over inundated with so many bills, so many, so many responsibilities. When you can just, when you can you know you can meet the debt at the end of the month, and and you can say, come on in, you know, come on in. And it's just the need is so great. So I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm thanking God. Holloway has counseled many domestic violence victims through the shelter over the years. She offers her opinion on the Ray Rice developments. For somebody to beat you, hit you, and knock you out, they have to be angry at you. So what? Love, there's a thin line between love and hate. That's why a lot of domestic 
violence goes into murder because just as great as the love is, that's how great the hate is. So we always have to watch that line that we cross over. Meanwhile, the House of Help City of Hope will continue to offer services to any woman or man in need of help. For more information, you can visit HollowayMinistries.com. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Gina Barti. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Up next